Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts New Cross Nation and welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while uh, since my first, like, since my last legitimate update video, but we are back. And as you can see, in case you didn't see my last video, uh, I am in a completely different environment this time. I am sharing a room with my brother uh, back at home. And I finally got a new mic as well, so the sound should be sound sounding a lot better compared to what it was in the past. But uh, without further ado, though, let's go ahead and cover some of the most recent uh, updates or yeah announcements that kind of just came out recently on the Union Cross Twitter account. So in case you aren't aware, uh, recently the Union Cross Twitter account has made an announcement uh, last night saying this, Hey Keyblade wielders, we have a short message regarding the PvP changes listed below. Please feel free to share your thoughts here regarding these changes. Thank you and have a great day. Hashtag Union Cross. And in the actual uh, picture that they have right here, uh, this is what it actually says. Recently, we made a post stating the upcoming changes for PvP, which were recently implemented. This is an ongoing process, so your feedback regarding these changes will be greatly appreciated. Regarding the PvP rank lock issue, some players were quote unquote locked out directly before the PvP ranking week reset. We have since adjusted it to minimize this from occurring, but please note that there may still be locking out prior to reset. We will continue to monitor this during the next few weeks. Regarding the PvP ranking tiers and reward changes, we have expanded the tier list for players to have more of an opportunity to receive rewards within their own brackets. We intend to monitor this system closely as well so that we may modify and or change make changes as necessary please let us know what works and what doesn't please note that these are not necessarily permanent changes we ask that you please keep this in mind as we refine the pvp system to reflect the desires of our community thank you uh, reading this kind of left me feeling kind of i don't know i i didn't really it, it left me feeling weird because it, it kind of just sounds like they didn't really address too much um regarding pvp and uh, we'll, we'll we'll start small okay let's start off with the just the first paragraph um the fact that they said that they recently implemented some of the changes already i i kind of have a problem with this because of the fact that like i would have liked to have known that some of the changes were already like implemented were ha have already been made i don't know about you guys but i was under the assumption that we were still waiting for the changes to happen and to know that the changes already happened with no actual notice that they happen <laughs> to me like I, that doesn't like to me that's just like that doesn't feel right um and that just goes into the whole communication thing that square enix seems to have a problem with just like if something happens just tell us right away that it happened um don't wait for a bunch of stuff to happen before making a post like this is right here Aside from that, let's jump into the actual individual things, though, that they kind of mentioned in their picture here. Regarding the PvP rank lock issue. Now, this has been an issue that a lot of players uh, for PvP have been complaining about. About the fact that, like, you know, within the last... Everyone knows within the last hour before reset is when the chaos happens on the last day. Because of the fact that everyone basically holds everyone hostage where they try to secure their rank because you can't fight them um, while they're in the middle of a battle. Uh, but that also means that uh, when you're looking for people to fight, um, most of the people that end up on the list are already in battle. So you can't really find a an opponent to fight in the first place. I don't know so much about the lower rankings, but this is especially especially relevant in the higher the rankings you are so once you start hitting like top 1000 top 500 and i can only imagine top 100 or top 10 and stuff the the problem starts to get incredibly more worse because there's only so many people in like those sections in those top tiers um so you start seeing the same people over and over and over again uh, and you can it's a lot easier to hold people hostage in the top tier rankings compared to the lower the rankings you go So to find out that they've kind of helped address that a little bit in terms that they in the in the selection menu when you're fighting people uh, When you're selecting someone to fight against it's good to know that they've 
address that a little bit so you can at least try and get like all your tries in before the reset but at the same time i would have appreciated it if they would have let us know that this was already being implemented compared to waiting a few days to announce it if, if you know what i mean this just goes into the whole communication process that i wish like square enix would just do it feels to me like they do this for all of their other games but they don't really treat union cross the same way and it just baffles my mind why they do that okay so regarding the pvp ranking tiers and reward changes okay this one kind of i i don't know this one made me feel weird too uh because of the fact they said we have expanded the tier list for players to have more of an opportunity to receive rewards within their own brackets I don't know about you guys, but this sounds almost exactly like the luxury week, <laughs> luxury PvP week that we have going on right now. So I'm not exactly sure what they mean by this. Do they are they referring to the luxury week that we have going on right now? Or are they referring to something completely different in terms of how the tier brackets? Because I, I don't know about you guys, but the luxury week is almost described the exact same way, where the tier brackets are like split up to receive more of an opportunity and stuff kind of like how it's stated here so i'm, I'm kind of confused as to like what they're trying to say here because it just sounds like the luxury week basically um uh, now just as a quick note they did state underneath it uh as a comment to the same post saying that also please keep in mind that the current special ranking week is still in effect so changes may not be as apparent until the start of next ranking week the only thing I can kind of derive from this statement right here is basically like 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 quite literally I'm still confused by what they're trying to say here because it sounds to me at least from that comment right there that starting next week we might have rankings similar to tier levels that are in the luxury week but then that like to me that just makes it sound like if that's the case then nothing really got solved in the first place, did it? Um, of course, we won't actually know until we see it until next week. But that's what I can only, that's the all I can assume from what, just watching that. I, I don't know about you guys, but the main issue in terms of the rewards and tier brackets within the game isn't so much the number of tiers, although it is nice to split them up a little bit more to more accurately reflect where you actually are within in terms of rankings and such. To me, more of what the actual issue is within the game is more in lies in fact of how the rewards, the ticket rewards are actually distributed themselves, okay? Because the main issue is for most players in the game, even top tier players such as myself and stuff have struggled with this, which is the fact that not enough players are getting access and not enough ranks within the tiers are getting access to silver and gold tickets. This is the main issue within the game. So unless they have adjust this in some way shape or form by next week and we won't know until we see them uh it's just sounds to me like they kind of are just replicating the luxury week pvp week uh stuff in terms of tiers and they're just adding it on to every other week that's what it sounds like from this announcement so at the very least until we see things next week it I, i'm honestly very skeptical it doesn't really sound like they really changed too much to be honest at least just from reading that uh, but I would love to hear what you guys have to think about it. But other than that, that's it for today, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like and subscribe and hit that bell button. It's the best way to know when I upload more videos such as this one. Please, by all means, feel free to let me know what you think about this. Because I don't know about you, but I'm feeling pretty skeptical and kind of uh, mixed feelings about this announcement. Um, but time will tell. But other than that, my name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts and Cross Nation. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.